Hello, and welcome to another exciting episode of Nerd Paints. So this video is just going to be for the base of Darth Vader. So I'm going to release an entire video of Darth Vader, so watch for that as well. That'll include Darth Vader as well as the base. But I just want to do a quick, short video just for the base itself. And I'm also thinking of coming out with a series of just custom bases in which this will be episode one. So be sure to click subscribe and watch out for those as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, I've already painted Darth Vader. And like I said, if anyone's interested on how I painted him, then watch for that video. It'll be posted here shortly. Now, if you've already painted Darth Vader, and if you want to go back and redo his base like this, then what I would suggest is get some Imperial Primer and just paint that over your base. If, depending on what your base is, um, if you just painted it black or something simple, then I personally, I would just paint over it with a little bit of Imperial Primer just on the base itself. But for the first step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Sterling Mud and you're gonna take this straight from the bottle and what you're gonna do, you're actually gonna kinda of cake it on. And then after you've caked it on, be careful not to get any on Darth Vader himself, but just kinda of push it around here. On the right side of the base, I wanna create just kind of a mound here. And I don't have any on the left side. If you can see here, most of it is just caked on the right side of them. And then Secret Weapon has a pack of skulls. It's called Sacco Skulls by Secret Weapon. And these are pretty cool. I really like these, they have a lot of detail. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a couple of skulls to his base. So just with some tweezers while that mud is still wet, I'm just going to put a couple of skulls here into the mud. And then once that mud dries, it will seal that in. And then I might put a little bit of mud just on top here within the crack, as if it's just kind of built up. These skulls have been here for a little while. And so I'm going to put just a little bit of mud here just in between, not very much. And that's it for the first step. Um, you're going to want to let that dry completely. Personally, I usually wait 24 hours for the mud to dry completely, just to make sure it's completely hard. But, but once it's completely dry, I'm gonna take some Imperial Primer. I'm not gonna paint the skulls with the Imperial Primer. And then once that Imperial Primer is dry, I'm gonna take some Corn Red. I'm going to add this to a wet palette. So if any of you want to know how I created a wet palette, look for another video. I have a video posted on how to build a custom wet palette. Um, I'll also post down below the wet palette that I use that I purchased off of Amazon. It's pretty cheap. It's not very expensive. But I'm going to add some corn red to my wet palette. And then on the left side is where most of the lava is going to be. So I'm going to paint the left side of the base with the corn red. Okay, and then once that's done, I'm gonna take some squig orange. I'm gonna add that to the, to the wet palette as well. I'm gonna take just a little bit of the squig orange, and I just wanna put a little bit here into the base of this mud that we created. And this is just mostly kind of along the edges here. I'm gonna be painting over this here shortly, but I just wanna add a little bit of this squig orange into there. Next, I'm gonna take some scrag brown. And then with a dry brush, I'm gonna put a little bit at the tip of the dry brush, not very much. You wanna make sure you have, just have a little bit on there and then I'm gonna work that in on a paper towel, get all the excess off you. It's better to have too little on your dry brush than too much. We're gonna dry brush over the skulls just to give a little bit of burnt ash onto the skulls. Next, I'm gonna take some Abaddon Black. I'm gonna put a thin layer over that squig orange that we painted on there. Maybe a little bit on top of the skulls as well, not very much, mostly along the base here. My next step, I'm gonna take some Mephiston Red and I'm gonna add this to my wet palette. Now, I wanna thin this out a little bit. I don't want it too thick. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take that Mephiston Red for my wet palette. I'm gonna add this on where we painted the corn red. So I'm just gonna paint over all the corn red with the Mephiston Red. Then while it's still wet, don't wait for it to dry, take some Troll Slayer Orange and add this to your wet palette. Add some water to really wet that down. And then I'm just gonna start mixing this in. Not very much. I don't wanna cover all the Mephiston Red. Just kinda swirl it around, just give it kind of a nice liquidy look here. 
I'm gonna do it kind of in the middle. I'm gonna keep the edges red for the Mephistone red. But if you look here, you'll notice that I mainly put this into the center area around his feet and, and just to give it kind of a wet look and it blends in really well with the Mephistone red. And my next step, I'm gonna take some Flash Gets Yellow. Again, add this to wet palette. And same thing, do this quickly so the base doesn't dry. But I'm gonna take some of the yellow and I'm gonna have a little bit less than this than the previous step. Mostly swirl it around here in the middle area where it's gonna be the hottest from the lava. Now you're gonna to wanna to let that completely dry. And then once it is dry, you're gonna take some Agrellin Earth. You're gonna add just kind of a thick layer of this on the base. Paint over everything you just did except for the skulls. And maybe just add a, a thin layer along the edges around the skulls. This way, the thicker it is, the larger the cracks. The thinner it is, the smaller the cracks. Push around, just be mindful not to get any on Vader. You don't wanna to have to go back and do any touch-ups. But you're gonna let that completely dry. I would give it a good three to four hours. You wanna make sure it's completely dry so all the cracks have formed and also it's not really forgiving. You don't want it to, to break off. But once it's completely dry, I'm gonna take a small dry brush and I'm gonna take that Abaddon Black I'm going to carefully paint over all of these platelets that we've created. Try not to get in any in between the cracks to paint over the lava that we just painted. I'm going to come back here and paint over all the mud that may still be remaining and all the cracks over here. Paint around the skulls and again go over all these little platelets that we created. I'm going to touch up the rim of his base as well. I just want to make sure that's pure black so I'm going to go over that as well. This is looking pretty cool so now I'm going to go back to Scrag Brown. I'm going to add a little bit to my dry brush again. Again, get off any excess using a paper towel. I'm just going to go lightly over the edges here of the base, maybe a little bit over the platelets here. This is why you want to make sure that they're completely dry so they don't flake off. I might go over the skulls just a little bit more, just to brighten that up a little bit further. Okay, my next step, I'm going to take some Carrick Stone. And I'm going to use this on the skulls. I'm going to, again, put a little bit on the dry brush, not very much. I'm just going to dry brush lightly on the skulls. After that, I'm going to take P3 Meneth White Highlight. Now, if you don't have this, then you can use White Scar or another white that you might have. I don't want to go overboard with this, mainly just along the edges of the skulls here, on the face of the skulls. Okay, and then I'm going to mix a little bit of the Mephistone Red and that Corn Red. I want to create just kind of an equal amount of that between those two colors. And then I'm going to paint just in between the cracks here of the platelets. Just to make it appear as if the lava is reflecting off of the edges here of the platelets here. I think that does it. I think that does it for Darth Vader's base. I think it looks pretty cool. So at this point, go ahead and do any further touch-ups that you want. But once you're completely done, then you'll want to spray it with a lacquer to seal it. Now, if you like this video, be sure to also click the subscribe button below. And if you want to help support future videos, Look for a link in my description to my Patreon page and become a supporter. In turn, you'll also be able to vote for what miniatures you'd like to see painted and at the same time have a chance to win some awesome prizes as well as some of the painted miniatures like the ones that you see in my videos. But as always, thanks again for watching and thank you for painting with Nerd Paints.